Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you have tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we highlight a different EMS drug that we administer out in the field. And we do this specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is not meant to be a replacement for medical advice. Today's medication is called promethazine, and promethazine is more commonly known by its brand name, which is Finergan. It falls under the class of phenothiazines, antiemetics, and antihistamines. So how does it work in the body exactly? It's an H1 receptor antagonist. It blocks the actions of histamine. It affects other natural substances in the body like dopamine and acetylcholine, which act directly on certain parts of the brain to prevent nausea and vomiting. And your indications for promethazine will be treatment and prevention of nausea and vomiting and motion sickness. What's your dose for promethazine? It's going to be 12 and a half to 25 milligrams and this can be given orally, IV, IO, intramuscularly, or rectally. So for your pediatrics, and this is specifically for patients over two years old, it's going to be 0.5 to 1 milligram per kilogram IV, IO, IM, or rectal. Your contraindications, if the patient is in a coma, if their CNS depression due to drugs or alcohol, so if the patient's already in and out of it because they're on drugs, maybe narcotics or benzos, or maybe they're just really drunk, you definitely want to not give promethazine in this situation. Any child under two years old, don't use in patients with long QT syndrome and also use caution in patients with hypersensitivity to phenothiazines. Your adverse reactions, coma, CNS depression, respiratory depression, confusion, drowsiness, and IV site irritation. Okay, and drug interactions of promethazine. So they can interact with other CNS depressants and potentiate the sedative and or analgesic effects of the medication. How it's supplied. Promethazine typically comes in 25 milligram in one ml vials or 50 milligram in one ml vial. Okay, some side notes for promethazine. You want to use it cautiously in geriatric and debilitating patients, you should consider using lower initial doses. And this is basically because geriatric patients do not metabolize medication in their body like the younger population does. You also want to use this cautiously in pregnant patients due to the CNS depressant side effects. So whatever effects it's having on the CNS in the mother, it's also going to have those effects on the fetus or the baby. Also, avoid use in young pediatric patients. So this is specifically for patients two and under, but even six and under is not recommended. Convulsions and sudden death are a risk in this population, so be very, very careful with this. Also, be aware of promethazine's ability to potentiate a CNS depressant if given together. So like we were talking about before, if your patient is high on narcotics or high on benzos or maybe even drunk or high on any other type of downer, just know that if you give promethazine with this, it's going to potentiate the effects of that drug. Be prepared to treat a dystonic reaction with Benadryl if it occurs. Promethazine is a phenothiazine, so you have to be prepared for dystonic reactions. And as you guys know, you do not treat a dystonic reaction with epi, you give Benadryl to these reactions. And just a little advice, dilute if you're able to prior to IV administration. Either draw it up in a syringe, or maybe if your service or your department allows it, shoot it up into a bag. If this isn't possible, make sure to choose a larger, healthier vein. Promethazine can cause burning and irritation to the site of the IV. So if you dilute it, this most likely won't be a problem. Remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday.